Oh my god, guys. What's up? These mosquitoes are gonna kill me. But right now I'm working on my house. Um, not even, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of this trailer that I'm not gonna use anymore. We have a new one coming in. So I really wanted to make a video. I'm not gonna talk super loud today because I'm outside. No, nobody can really hear me. But um, I really wanted to just kind of discuss learning to be like your genuine self. Like today I'm wearing my Mariah Carey shirt. And I'm feeling it, it's so, it's kind of whack because I got my fucking, um, um, like I'm doing all this, like lifting up this dirty shit and it's wood and I'm messing up my clothes. And also like, look at my jeans. It's pretty dope, right? Yeah, so I did that myself. But um, back to what I'm saying with this video, I don't know how long I'm gonna make it, I always say that, but I, uh, I'm not gonna project as much. <laughs> But I think the most, for the most part, I really wanted to talk about just learning to be your genuine self as you get older. And especially as being someone that like, because I'm gay, I've always had a struggle with just learning to be genuine and learning to really be comfortable in my own skin. And that was a hard thing to really do and instill. And, and it still is. And I'm not 100% there, but I, I recognize that I'm getting there. And I, and I'm really and truly in love with that. There's like these mosquitoes, they're gonna harass me all till who knows when, but just learning to get into that mindset can be so hard. And just learning to accept yourself too, like that, that in and of itself is so hard sometimes. And it can be, it could take years. It could take years. And it's like, it's like those videos are like guys are talking about like deal men and all this shit. And you know, I've made a video about it too. I've definitely spoken about it. But I think one thing we really have to realize is that like coming into your, your own skin and like learning to really be comfortable in your own self is hard. It takes, takes forever. Especially like when you have all these obstacles in your way that's really stopping you. And, and a lot of times we feel like society have this chokehold on us that we can't be who we are and, and just live our life as we want to. So it's just, it, it's so hard to even just think about these things and you know how all these trials and tribulations a lot of us has to go through just to get where we are today. And you know, I was reading this Reddit and I'm gonna leave the link in the description if I can find it, hopefully I can. But it was about like just, you know, learning that as a lot of, especially LGBT people, we're very resilient because we go through a lot of shit and we just, we just learn to take, 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 and we just learn to really endure a lot of bullshit that people throw at us. So in this Reddit, he was kind of making a point that he's tired of enduring, he's tired of being fucking tough. He said, fuck this shit. You know, I want to feel, I want to cry. I want to, you know, sh you know, share my emotions and not, and not feel like I need to be strong all the time. And, you know, I guess there's strength in weakness. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I think for me, like that resonated a little bit because sometimes we spend so much time just learning to be tough and learning to just endure that we forget that we're humans and we just, we still need to be loved and we still need to have connection and kinship and all these things that make us who we are. You know what I'm saying? It's not just all this, I'm tough, big guy, tough, and I, I could take whatever you throw at me, and I, and you know, sticks and stones and break my bones and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's tough. It really fucking is. And it's it's crazy. And I think because I'm just like, I'm restarting with my house, so I kind of felt like in the mood to just talk about these things, because you know, there's nothing wrong with with wanting to start over. There's nothing wrong with changing directions there's nothing want, wrong into realizing oh shit i made a mistake you know let me change it or let me move forward in a different direction there's nothing wrong with doing none of that and i don't and i think we shouldn't have to feel that way when we decide to really uh, come out and uh, and just start really uh, loving ourselves the way that we need to because i honestly like especially when it comes to self-expression i feel like a lot of people feel like you are oh like you're changing or 
oh I oh no I didn't know you were like that and because maybe like I started to get a little bit more into fashion or something like that and the real honest truth is I've always had an eye for it I always had a thing for it and there's just like, things that I really and genuinely do enjoy and I've never really given myself the chance to really express myself I've now that I'm older and you know and this this is definitely like this year you know like I said I pierced my ears I want to get another piercing here maybe like one and like I want to just go crazy because it's just like a lot of times we restrict ourselves from doing so much things that we wanted to do in the first place and we wait till like we're fucking older and then now granted I'm 26 I'm not old yet but it's like you know some people wait till they're older to like really do a lot of shit that they wanted to do with their lives and it's like why are we waiting so long to do things why are we waiting so long to uh, to actually you know put ourselves first and uh, put our desires and our dreams for us you know what i'm saying like i'm tired of living for other people fuck that like i want to live for myself and you know just letting go of the fact that some people may not like that and it's okay it really is y'all it's like it it's deep and it's not that deep at the same time because I feel like a lot of it is us holding on to things and people that we we um we we hold dear to us and we want people's approval so bad that we're willing to let go of ourselves and and put ourselves in a box to please other people and that's not that's not realistic that's kind of like that's that's really messing up your mind and your energy and it's just not it's not making you a happier person i feel like i'm a lot happier now now that i'm just out doing what i want to do and just living my life how i want to live it like i don't care if you feel like my rainbow shit is gay or whatever the frig in it or i remember i was at work and this was like my first job so, so some people they're kind of stupid <laughs> and one guy was like oh you're going through like a midlife crisis or some shit i'm like i'm 26 like how is that like not smart and that's another thing you're gonna deal with a lot of people that are not really that intelligent and it's okay like you can let them be in their own unintelligent world because they're not going anywhere <laughs> i promise you they're right they're gonna be right where they're at for a long time but damn mosquito oh my god i don't know they're gonna be where they're at for a long time so honestly in my honest opinion stop worrying about these people that are just so ignorant and stupid and have nothing else to put into this world and negativity because at the end of the day they're still gonna live their life so why shouldn't you why shouldn't you and i think when you know i made my my last not my last video like the other video was like stop looking for a boyfriend and i was just talking about um you know doing things that you want to do and stop focusing on things that you can't necessarily always control you can't control what everybody's going to think of you you can't control how people are going to always react to you but you control what you do with your life and me learning that and and even like even like me applying this to like like let's say a job or something like that because i i have one job i worked at for so long and i've been like telling these people do this do that this is going to be better for you you know you're gonna waste less and you know be a better business all these things and now that i've kind of i have another job and i've kind of like not put the all the old job on a back burner but uh, me being there less because now i literally do like the bare minimum there and me being there so much less is saving me so much stress like y'all i'm telling you when you know taking away the option of just like minding my business and just like focusing on myself and stop trying to uplift other people that don't want to be uplifted really and truly did something for me and it and it's been six months now since i'm at my new job and i love my new job they're awesome you know i'm really trying to not like mess that one up so hopefully it works out and you know i can level up at that job and still level up doing things like this because i do enjoy this too and, you know finish my house because I, I have a lot of work now to do but um just really 
focusing on myself and i think back focusing back on the job point that i was trying to make because a lot of times i used to uh, you know always trying to be like oh you should do this or like you should do i was always trying to suggest things to my coworkers and things like that or like to the business and trying to like elevate them you know hopefully thinking that they, it's going to click in their head and then i realized you know and, and this was like a literally like recently i realized that it doesn't matter what i say because they're going to do what they want to do anyway your coworkers going to do whatever they want to do every anyway so if what you say to them isn't being reciprocated you have to do what you have to do and leave it alone and move on with your life and i think that was kind of just the main thing i realized is like whatever i reciprocate to other people they're gonna operate however they still feel like they want to operate you have no control over that you might have influence but you have no control and me realizing that you know i just have to apply that to other things in my life and other people so i just stopped locking myself up and i just started to learn to really appreciate the things that i do and the things that i love and how i like to go about my life because i'm not here forever you know i had a friend call me friend i met this year and he had a friend like she had a, a, a addiction and she recently just passed away due to it and it's so crazy because i didn't even know she had these issues going on i only met her once and he just sent me a text like he kept asking me to call him and i just like i was like i'm i'm so busy working sometimes so i never sometimes i never get to people like i'm supposed to been hang out with one of my friends from like high school have yet to get, get to that so it's, it's been really <laughs> busy i'm trying to get to it but you know i'm trying to be better at this but when he finally you know called me and was just explaining the situation i was just like wow i literally met this girl once i did not know any of these things about her and then she gave off such a positive energy like she really you know the few hours i was with that person i had a really great laugh i really had a great time and you know they they made me smile and it's so crazy that you know and this was like literally like i think she passed like a month ago i think that's what i was told and i met i had met up with that person maybe like three four months ago so it's just crazy how sometimes shit just happens and you just don't know when you're gonna be here or not here and like i said i never want to sound morbid in these videos but i really just want to explain to y'all y'all we have one life we have one life it's not we don't have we're not cats we ain't got nine lives we you when you're when you're gone you're gone and i'm not here to get like super spiritual or religious some people like i said i am not <laughs> because i don't know what happens to you when you die i really don't i think you just go into earth in my opinion you think you just die and turn into fertilizer and then that's it we live on in other people's memories but you know some people think of other things and higher power but me i think this is your one life your one chance not to fuck shit up the one chance to do something you might not be able to do every single thing you want to do in life but you could do what you can do with the cards that you're dealt with and i don't want to sit here and tell people that they shouldn't go what was me and my life is this and that because a lot of people are in a lot of different situations and a lot of people won't really be able to even reciprocate this message because everybody's situation is different but for the people who can and are willing and able to go out and live go out and be yourself don't worry about what other people are going to think of you you know don't worry about if you feel like you're too feminine or 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 you're too weird or whatever the case may be or like or even the guys that are just like oh like i don't you know i only hang out with masculine guys and all these things like that it's like we got to let go of these 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 cages that we put ourselves in you know what i'm saying it's it's learn to be learn learn to really appreciate people for what they have and what they offer and and stop boxing everybody in because at the end of the day nobody on this planet is perfect i mean granted not everybody's for everybody that's a fact but we we don't have to cage ourselves in and we don't have to segregate ourselves even more than we already do it's like it's crazy how you know humans kind of just separate each other in so many categories that don't even make sense you know what i'm saying it's, it's weird it's, it's a weird thing that we do the human condition is real <laughs> it's a real strange thing to even be conscious of
like just just being conscious and being aware of a lot of shit is it's a very interesting experience to say the least but um i think for you know the learning to be genuine and learning to really uh, put yourself out there is it's a learned behavior you know self-expression can be hard and i think and i think this comes with age and experience like some people naturally have it you know like when you're in high school and you have like that really flamboyant gay guy and all that stuff and i feel like in even in those situations when i feel like a lot of people hate on them a lot of people are envious of that person dare i say that because you know that's somebody out there living their whole life and they're not worried about how other people perceive them that now they might have their you know insecurities and things like that but to be able to just go out there and 100 percent just genuinely be yourself genuinely look how you want to look do what the fuck you want to do that takes a lot of balls and that takes a lot of courage and i really commend a lot of you guys that really do that you know what i'm saying go out and live your life and you know don't let people stop you from doing that and learn to speak up i feel like that's another thing that really uh, helps with the genuine factor of somebody i think for me i always kind of just i'm sometimes i talk too much it's crazy but i always i don't like to hold back how i feel anymore i, I like to just say what it is and what's going on in my mind because i i rather not i rather somebody uh, know exactly how i feel versus you know somebody guessing or like thinking that i'm being malicious towards them or whatever reason you know what i'm saying sometimes when you don't say anything that's saying something and just learning to speak up and really learning to express yourself verbally is also a really important thing and just growing as a person not even like nothing like you know sexuality rise or anything like that just growing as a person is super important and how we express ourselves is very important and how we communicate also is, you know, a key factor in moving forward in life and in the society that we are in currently. You know, there's a lot of things that we can't change, but there's things that we can change within ourselves. And, you know, that's definitely one of the things that we can change. So I think for the most part, I kind of said what I wanted to say in this video. I honestly wasn't even going to make this video because I like it you know they're all they're usually always off the rip yeah i'm promise you like i have more content that's not that's less off the rip but um sometimes i just want to like talk and just say how i feel and i think for the most part when it comes to just living in your truth and being who you are you're going to attract the people that want to be around you and i think that's the most important part that i really wanted to make in this video is attracting the correct energy towards you and i feel like when you don't do that and when you're always hiding who you really are and what you truly enjoy and you know like your real you know what i'm saying like when you hide your real self you're never going to really bring genuine people that want to be around that you're always going to bring people that are attracted to your fake energy and it's not necessarily I'll, you know, I won't, I'll, I won't say fake energy. That that sounds a little bit too combative. But I want to say, like, your your persona, your front that you're putting on. And, you know, it's okay to, to bring your walls down. You know, it's okay to be vulnerable. And it's okay to really let go and not worry about if somebody's watching you, what other people are always thinking. You know and i had to really learn that this year like it's, it's okay like I, I don't have to like fight with everybody all the time i don't have to you know be in a constant battle of like oh i'm right i'm right and you're wrong and this is correct and you know what i'm saying it's okay to let go of these things because people are going to think what they want to think anyways so sometimes you know um it doesn't make sense to just like always go back and forth to people who are stuck in their ways honestly it's not I had to learn that the hard way this year, the hard way. When somebody's stuck in their ways and they don't want to hear what you got to say anyways, it's a fine. You don't have to hear what I want to hear. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to exist because I deserve to exist just as much as you do. 
just as much as you do. And if you don't like that, that's on you. That ain't on me. So, I think that's going to be um, the end of this video. I think 20 minutes is actually a good amount of time to talk on this shit. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else to really throw out there. I might make like a part two on this, like a more elaborate version, a more detailed version, because this one was just me and my random thoughts. But I just want to say like, you know, like guys, like life is going to keep going and we can't stop. We can't stop ourselves for other people because life's going for them too. So we have to enjoy every moment that we have because you never know. Like, you know, like I said, I never want to sound too morbid with these, but you really never know. And I'd rather live, i rather live my life and I, I'd rather see at the end of my life that I was happy doing what I was doing and happy living in my own skin versus me doing things that I was never really truly comfortable with, you know, not really comfortable in my skin and not living in my genuine truth and just being myself, you know what I'm saying? Out of anything, just being yourself. But um, thank you guys for watching the video. I think I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, I have another video coming next week. You know, it's, I'm a little bit iffy with these things. But um, I do appreciate the like and support that you guys give me all the time. I forever appreciate that. And I really love you guys for supporting me. Um, you guys are really helpful. And, you know, for the guys that do comment in my videos, I do watch them. I think I know I made a, I think I said this in my video prior, but I do watch, I do read all the comments. I don't always comment on it, but I do read them and I do try to take in what you guys are saying. And I really actually want to do a, uh, you know, if anybody's interested, I would like to do like a, maybe like a Zoom video and like have like a Zoom discussion with a few of you guys. I think you guys have some really dope opinions. And I would really like to, you know, have like a group discussion going on. Maybe it could be like a monthly thing, you know, a bi-weekly. I don't know, like something to like bounce back off other people and really get to like know other people's perspectives. So that's just something that I was just thinking about that would really make great content. But thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you appreciate it and I will be signing off. Peace out.